Right, we are going to dive into RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. So these are a really vital movement because they're a hinge movement and you're going to be using all types of variations with this within your plans and it's a really key um, exercise to get down. So set up. You want your feet about hip width. They don't need to be super wide. They don't need to be super narrow. Just in a comfortable position for you. Toes can be pointed pretty much forward, maybe out at a little bit of an, of an angle if that feels better for you, but you don't want them to be out like this. So pretty much forward. When you grab your dumbbells, don't just bend over and pick them up. Um, most injuries occur at the beginning or the end of an exercise, not actually in the exercise. So you wanna make sure you pick them up properly, even if they're lightweight for you. So you're gonna squat down, grab your dumbbells, Brace your core, brace your back, pick your dumbbells up. Get yourself in position. You wanna keep your dumbbells to the side. Um, they don't need to be directly in front of you. They can be kind of at an angle here on the side of your hips because as you lower, you're gonna be able to keep them close to your body without them having to bump over your knees. So keep them right here. Toes are forward, nice big breath. Number one key is keeping your spine neutral and not just popping your booty out. So you might see this all over Instagram where girls are, you know, doing RDLs like this, looking up at the ceiling, popping their booty out. That's a surefire way to have back pain forever. So you want to keep your spine nice and neutral all the way up to your neck. So as you move downward, your neck is following the path of your spine. You're not cranking it up like this. And you're focusing on pushing your glutes back not on sitting down, not on tipping forward, pushing your glutes back. So push your glutes back, 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 keep those dumbbells by your side, spine is neutral. You're stopping once you get a full extension of the hamstring, you do not need to keep going all the way down here. That's not doing anything other than putting pressure on your lower back. So as you're going, and you're here, 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 once you feel that your hamstrings are not going to stretch anymore, that's your stopping point. Don't try to go farther. So you're here, and then to stand back up, you're squeezing your glutes. So you're not thinking of just standing up straight. You're thinking, squeeze my glutes, squeeze my glutes, squeeze my glutes, so like you're a hinge on a door. So you're down, spine is neutral, dumbbells are close. Squeeze glutes, stand back up. Key thing to keep in mind is at the bottom, whatever muscle moves first is the muscle that is initiating the movement and actually working. So if I started to go like this to stand up, I'm using my, my upper body and my back. I don't want my shoulders to stand up first. I want my glutes to move first. So the difference is here. Glutes squeezing, 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 squeezing up, as opposed to here and going like that. So again, key tips, dumbbells close, spine neutral. Push your glutes back like you're trying to push open a door. Stop when you get that full extension of the hamstring. Squeeze your glutes to stand back up. Then when you're done with it, don't just drop your dumbbells. I mean, unless you have to, you just can't hold them anymore, but squat them back down, let go. Troubleshooting. So. Everyone has their own little perks and nuances they may notice when they're doing hinging movements. Um, the number one thing is simply having a hard time keeping your back in alignment and not curving that lumbar and having pain in your lower back. So a tip you can do is let go of the weight, just focus on learning the hinge. You're gonna be here. Put your hands behind your back and tighten those shoulder blades so that your shoulder blades are contracted behind you and work on hinging with your hands in position like this it's going to be really hard for you to pop your knee out like this you want to keep everything tight and just learn how to hinge back without hyper extending your back you notice my hands and my arms are really close to my back and then standing back up so not this this. So that's a tip for keeping your spine in alignment.
Another tip, if you're finding that hinging movements, RDLs, are causing some type of lower back pain, is simply making sure that when you get to the top of the movement, your full lockout is here with your pelvis neutral. You do not need to overextend. And you'll see this a lot online as well where people are coming up and they think that a full lockout is right here, really curving that lower back and moving backwards. And that's gonna put a lot of tension on your lower back. You only need to come up here, glutes are contracted, pelvis is neutral. You're nice and straight, nice and tall. Don't come back here. So those are tips for better RDLs and better hip hinges.